Get him out of there so we can look at him. That is a good one. Pretty good one here. Right, he fighting like a good one. In fact, he is a good one. Well, I had to get it out of the tree limb. I'm sorry, baby. I was hoping it'd go on back there and hit somebody else. Good God. Good God. Well, that's a bandit. That is a That's that good. Well, good morning, folks. I got my lovely wife and my lovely daughter down here this morning. First time Sherry's been able to go in. How many years since you've been oh, in the river? Since Joanne was pregnant with Thomas. So it's been about 30 years since she's been in here. So y'all pray for me. I'm outnumbered two to one, but it's gonna be a great day. Uh, we're gonna bring them in red breast fish and catfish. And we might catch a few stripers. We're going to have a good time. Father God, we just thank you for this beautiful day you've given us. Watch over, protect, and bless each one of us this day, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Watch over, protect our loved ones while we're away. Bring everyone home safely, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we claim a bountiful day. Amen. Amen. Let's go fishing. Oh, uh, I got hung up where you were. <laughs> See what I got? Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> the only fish in the live whale is Sherry. So yeah, and I mean, she ain't giving nobody else a chance. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know you're not. All right. We're going to start catching fish in a little bit, ain't we, baby? Yeah, we only Absolutely. Fish. Hey, the back of the boat was a sight better. There you go. Last time, it looks like it's gonna be like that again. That's a good one. Watch out, baby. All right. Are you gonna let her catch every dead Jim one of them? I just can't get in the water. <laughs> she gets her pole in the water, we will Uh, swear, y'all won't let me get cast out there so I can. Well, I'm gonna leave that boat paddle right there. If she grabs that rod before it gets torqued down, you hit her upside the head with that boat paddle. And she'll remember that. As soon as she wakes up. <laughs> Boat might be sitting right where the brim and red breast. Whoa. All except for right Whoa. there. Whoa. Wow. That's a good one. Cool, oh, racious. Yeah, what we fishing for? Uh, exactly where did you catch him? I had already been fishing down there, but <laughs> he must not have wanted the worms. Uh. 
I knew this here had to have brim and red breast in it. Up to it, he was as wide as my hand. Yeah, well, let's look at him. Got him? I think so. Oh, that's a good one. That's a shell cracker. Uh huh. Yeah, you can jump around all you want. He can be happy. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but that back swirl right there, the water comes in here and then makes a swirl and them fish will gang up there golly bum is that a red breast yeah, that's a red breast. Look at the size of that. Now that is one nice red breast. Who caught that one? Well, I believe I got a keeper hooked here. Huh? I believe I got a keeper. If I can get him in here. Oh, wow. Yeah, now this is the kind of rain we need at the house. I hope we're getting it. Now it's beginning to rain now. up golden brown. Come in, my darling. Yeah. Yeah, a pretty red vest. Look at that thing. It's starting to rain, y'all. Now this here is rain. so we can look at him. That is a good one. Was he a big one? Pretty good one here. Right, he's fighting like a good one. In fact, he is a good one. Yeah, 
Well, I had to get it out of the tree limb. I'm sorry, baby. I was hoping it'd go on back and hit somebody else. Good. Well, that's a bad yeah. one. That is a nice one. That's a good one. He finally kept at it. <laughs> I mean, that's something I can hardly get my hand around it. Yeah, we might need to weigh him. You talking to, we both seem to be having trouble right now. Look at you. I think you got this one. Oh, oh God, right. that's a big one. Eleven ounces. I figured you was about a 12 ounce. Right? You got it that time. And, you know, he's not that little. She but knows. he was hitting like a little one. Oh, really? I was praying anyway. <laughs> I saw that one yet. Nice oh, hush. Would you please hush? Nice brim. Now I tell you with all that high water we had for so long that this river was gonna be full of brim. And it is. I believe it's a brim. It I declare do. it do, but it took Dude, off like look a. Look at that! He did. He took off like a catfish. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's a shell cracky. We getting some nice. He got the live way well, right. around. Very good. Well, caddy fish. And y'all was ready to leave. <laughs> Big, but he's a fighter. Uh, he's a 
I see them channel cast, them things fight now. Down, reel down. Now pull. Mommy, don't, don't let him get you tight. He, he's trying to get you right. right. Get that out of the way. My pole's in the way. Get my pole. Oops. All right, you're going to have to have. There you go. That near to do it. <laughs> the two girls done it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look at that fat, nasty thing. His belly looks like Danny's. <laughs> Here's your plars. I think maybe I caught the eight pound one. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe you did. That'd be some good eating there now. Now, hey, see that? All right. I'll teach you something. Stick with you long enough, right? That's right. <laughs> uh oh. That ain't no brim. I got him a coming, but I don't think it's a golly whopper. He's pretty good size, though. Big enough for a net. Got him, girl. I tell you what. That's flathead. I mean, a channel. Huh? That's a channel. Look like a blue to me. Yeah, I'm sorry. And I will tell you what, he is. He's a slimy whatever he is. Look at that thing. What a brim. <laughs> it's about a 10, 11 ounce, sir. Nice, nice, nice. Well over. Can't hardly get my fingers around him. Good fish, good fish. Like somebody's got to catch some rim and red dress him. You want to put that one in the ice chest since you got stuff all over the line? Right? Yeah. Well, I made it back. We had a good time today. Having two women on the boat sometimes causes a problem, but not with them two. Uh, of course, my wife, she gets to go a lot, <clears throat> but Sherry, this is the first time she's been in a while. And uh, but she's a good fisherman too, as you can see what we did on the video. But uh, we had a real good time. Uh, we done dressed fish and all. We must have had 35 or 40 rim and red breasts and four or five cats. We had a good mess of fish. But we did have a good time. The Lord, he is good all of the time. Amen? All right, we'll see you next trip. Talk with you later. Today's episode was brought to you by Joe's Motor Service in Hartford, Alabama. These are the folks that build the Rhino boat. There is zero wood in the construction of this boat, folks. Nothing but .125 inch aluminum stock. That's right, .125 inch aluminum stock is all that goes into the construction of these boats. And when I say that these things are built Rhino tough, Mr. Joe Riley engineered these boats to withstand gunfire. That's right, they can withstand gunfire. 
So if you find yourself down in southern Alabama, mainly in the area of Dothan, just jog west a little bit on Highway 52 and you will run into the little town of Hartford, Alabama. And if you do, stop by and check out the fine boats, these wonderful machines that they call Rhino Boats. And for you folks down in Georgia, check out Bullock Marine in Statesboro and Oak Mogie Outdoors in Hazelhurst. And remember folks, if you see someone in need, help them out if you can. Find someone today and tell them that you love them. Better yet, show them that you love them. That's the Jesus way. This is Wade Rush, and I host the BRO channel, and we will see y'all out there. Bye-bye.